This is Annie from the QuickBooks team. Before you can pay your employees in QuickBooks Desktop, you'll need to create profiles for them. In this video, we'll go over how to create employee profiles. These steps are the same for all versions of QuickBooks Desktop Payroll. First off, get a completed W-4 form from your employee. This has all the personal information you need to create their profile, plus any deductions or withholdings they want to claim. Once you have the W-4, go to QuickBooks and select Employees and Employee Center. Then select New Employee to open up the New Employee window. Depending on your payroll subscription, you might see this view. Or you might see a view with a tab called Required Info. For this example, we'll show you how to add a new employee with the Required Info tab. Here, you'll find the required fields you'll need to enter for each employee. Add the employee first and last name, date of birth, social security number, hire date, and home address. Next, go to the Personal Info tab. You'll see a lot of fields that might be useful depending on your business, but nothing is required on this tab. On the Additional Info tab, you can enter additional contacts. If you want to create custom fields for your business, you can do that here. Next, go to the Payroll Info tab and select the correct pay schedule if you have one set up. If you don't, just enter the pay frequency for your employee here. Next, select how much to pay your employee by choosing a payroll item in the Earnings box along with a rate of pay. If you select an hourly pay item, then add the hourly rate. If they're a salaried employee, then add the annual pay here. Then select any voluntary or mandatory deductions or contributions. These can include health insurance deductions, 401ks, reimbursements, or garnishments. If you pay employees by direct deposit, you can set that up here. To start, select the direct deposit button and enter your employee's bank account and routing number. Ask your employee for a voided check to get this info. Make sure you get a check because the routing and account numbers from other items like deposit slips are wrong and will be rejected by the bank. Once you're done, select OK to return to the Payroll Info tab. If this is your first time using QuickBooks Direct Deposit Service, you'll be guided to set up the service when you select the Direct Deposit button. Next, move to the Taxes button to add your employee's tax info. Choose the year of the W-4 you want to enter. The fields will change based off what you choose. Complete the fields based on the employee's W-4. Select the State tab. Select the state worked and the subject to withholding, and complete the additional fields. Based on the state you choose, additional taxes may be added to the Other tab. Review the taxes added, and enter any additional info or rates if applicable. When you're ready, select OK to close a window to go back to the Payroll Info tab. Now, go to the Sick and Vacation button to add your employees' accrual rates. QuickBooks can track sick and vacation accruals on an annual, per check, or per hour basis. You don't have to set up accrual tracking in QuickBooks to pay employees sick or vacation time. If you track this somewhere else, then you can skip this section. Once you're finished, select OK to return to the Payroll Info tab. Next is the Employment Info tab. Again, there are a lot of useful fields, but nothing is required. The final tab is Workers' Comp. To set this up, select the Workers' Comp code for your employee. It's important to note that the QuickBooks Payroll Service doesn't automatically pay workers' compensation. You'll need to do that separately. Once you're finished, select Save and Close to save the employee. And that's it! You're all set to start creating your own employees in QuickBooks Desktop Payroll.